Hey guys, welcome to episode number 409. Today is Tuesday, so I have another tank tip for you. And today, I wanted to talk about a fundamental principle in the aquarium hobby, and that is the Venturi effect. Now this is probably happening in your aquarium, whether you're aware of it or not. And I wanted to briefly walk through what it is, how it works, and where you might find it in your aquarium. So, the Venturi effect, very simply, without getting into any math at all, the two uh, sort of conditions that uh, have to happen in order for this effect to occur. First, the fluid's velocity must increase when it's constricted, all right? Um, that's mass continuity. And then second, when that happens, the static pressure must decrease and that's the conservation of mechanical energy. That may sound complicated, but let's look at the diagram and it's pretty easy to see um, how this works and why it works. So, on this end, we have a pump which is pushing water in this direction. We have a velocity of that water which is low because this is a large diameter pipe, but we have a high pressure on this side because the pump is pumping water in this direction. And then what happens is we get to a constriction point, right? And um, the pump is pumping water in this direction and all of a sudden this water has to speed up, right? The velocity must increase because all of that water and all that pressure has to get through a smaller point. It's being constricted. And then what happens is as it exits the other side, the velocity decreases once again because it has a larger area to fill and uh, the pressure increases once again as well. And this is where the magic happens. This is where your vacuum forms. And this is where so many Venturis um, have really interesting principles. So <clears throat> at this point where you have a area of low pressure which is turning into an area of high pressure once again. And in this area where you have a high velocity, which is turning into a low velocity once again, you have the ability to add a vacuum tube. So you can insert water from your aquarium or from another system, um, like an atmospheric system, into your Venturi flow. So the pump pumps water, it gets constricted, and then it exits this side into whatever your outflow situation is. And in the process, a vacuum is formed and it's formed right here. And that's the important part. And when that forms, because your pressure is going from low pressure to high pressure and your velocity is going from high velocity to low velocity, you have the ability to uh, basically draw water in through an, another tube and make it enter this side of the system. So when you think about your water changers that you connect to your sink, this side is the side that you connect to your sink. And when you turn that water on, you've got high pressure here, you've got a constriction point here, and then the water exits your, into your sink over here. And what do you have here? This is the vacuum tube that you actually put into your aquarium and water is drawn up through that vacuum tube and it allows you to clean your aquarium. Um, these are also seen in protein skimmers as well when you're trying to add um, bubbles to a protein skimmer system. It's done in much the same way. And uh, a system like this can work with air, it can work with water, it can work with all all kinds of different um, things. But this is the basic diagram. This is essentially how it works. And um, if you look around, you'll actually see it all over the place. So that is the basic diagram. Pretty simple. It's sort of a complex concept, but when you draw a diagram, it makes it a little bit simpler. And one thing that I stumbled across, which got me really interested in doing a little research on the Venturi effect and Venturi siphons, is this piece right here. This is a PVC T, which is actually a Venturi T. So um, you would see this in like a pool or a spa type of setup. 
where you have flow going in the left to right direction here. And um, this is on this side you would have your pump. And as you can see, you've got a constriction point there. And then on this side you can see um, it goes back to normal. And then if you look through here, you can see that this is your vacuum tube. And uh, if you push water using a water pump going in this direction, just like on this diagram, what will happen is you will pull water up this vacuum tube and into inject it into this system. So this little piece here is um, really interesting and it's going to be really fun to play around with in the aquarium and the DIY aquarium space. So if you want to get your hands on one of these fittings, I'll leave the link down below. Um, I'm not planning to PVC cement this together in a high pressure system. Instead, uh, I'm going to keep everything uh, uncemented so that I can try a whole bunch of different configurations and use this on a whole bunch of different aquarium projects in the future. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that little explanation of the Venturi effect. And I'll see you guys later.